Hello everybody, welcome back to Football Manager 2023 with the Youth Academy only save with Geisley and oh my word, what a season this is turning out to be. Let's go and have a look. Right, there is no better place to start this episode than looking at the league table where we find ourselves second, second in the championship, one point behind Stoke, two points clear of Ipswich in third, uh, four points clear of Fulham in fourth, five points clear of Bristol City and Brighton in fifth and sixth, respectively. And this is turning out to be one hell of a season. We are on the 11th of January, so we can argue we're past the halfway mark point of this season. This is, you know, this isn't a fluke anymore. I think we've been growing towards this position and it is going very very well. We're taking on Brentford today in the FA Cup third round, so we'll get onto that game in just a bit. Again, expecting to lose. They are better than us, even though they're below us in the table. We haven't beaten them in the last three fixtures. We've got one win in five against them, so it's going to be pretty tough. And we're away from home as well at the Brentford Community Stadium. But yeah, a fantastic start to the season, or to the, se the season, a fantastic first part of the season, first half of the season. If we look at the schedule, it is phenomenal absolutely phenomenal derby will beat them 2-1 on the opening day uh groomsby town 3-0 wimbledon 1-1 bristol city 0-0 blackburn 3-1 brighton 3-3 uh played a friendly 1-7-0 bournemouth 2-1 wickham 1-1 west brom 2-1 then we had last episode where we got the 8-0 schlacken from newcastle um who are having a pretty good season in the premier league and other cup competitions in the efl they have progressed to the semi-finals uh, we followed that with the 2-2 draw against Burnley with Jake Mills getting a brace. We lost to Fulham and I thought, uh-oh, that has that, that loss to Newcastle has dented our performances uh, and it's going to really affect morale. But we followed a 2-1 loss to Fulham up where Supreme Dave scored a penalty with a 3-3 draw against Sheffield United away from home. Supreme Dave um, putting us into a 3-2 lead in what was a pretty bonkers game. But Wes Jones got the equaliser for Sheffield United at 3-3. We then beat Reading, and this put us on an, an okay run. Supreme Dave with a 91st minute penalty in that one. We drew 1-1 with Ipswich. And they got a man sent off on the 53rd minute, and with 10 men equalised. A bit of a nightmare. 3-3, three, three, we drew a Brentford last time. Jake Mills getting one, Supreme Dave getting two. Uh, they got three goals as well. And then we lost to Stoke, which was really annoying because they were top of the league. But they went 1-0 up, then got a man sent off, but we just couldn't make the difference um and then we've been on this run which is 11 games i think unbeaten we beat bolton 6-2 at home and chipong supreme dave with two penalties jake mills dom collins with an own goal and kennedy joseph the center back who we'll go and look at in a minute getting on the score seat um we followed that up nil nil with luton which was a little bit disappointing uh, we beat peterborough 3-2 graham cox getting two and justin Doncor getting one huddersfield won 4-1 um we went 1-0 up, they brought it back to 1-1, one, one. They we went 2-1 up, they got a man sent off, they completely capitulated. Jake Mills getting a goal, Lyric, Hart Lyric Hartas getting one, and Supreme Dave getting two. 4-0, we beat Crystal Palace, who were second in the league at this point. Supreme Dave getting one, and Chapong, Brian, Di uh, Brian Dyson and Graham Cox getting a fourth. We beat Coventry 2-1, Peter Hayworth and Anchepong scoring. We beat Barnsley 3-2, Supreme Dave getting two, and Hayworth getting a goal. We beat Charlton 1-0 after they got they got a man sent off very late on, but we were 1-0 up at that point. And anyway, through Gareth Earl, drew 0-0 with QPR, beat Coventry 2-1 again. Um, Jake Mills getting a goal and Lyric Hartas on that one as well. Again, they got a man sent off, completely changed the game. And we dominated. Burnley also then got two men sent off. One in the first minute, which was quite frankly ridiculous. He got sent off. They then went 1-0 up. We then went 3-1 up with uh, Peter Hayworth scoring, Robert Thomas attacking midfield, and John Leake scoring a penalty. And then in the 94th minute, they got a penalty and made it 3-2. They also got a man sent off early in the second half. And we've just drawn 1-1 with Fulham, which is a pretty decent result. Robert Thomas stepping in whilst we've got to rotate in this very busy Christmas-January schedule time. Um, yeah, and it was they got a man sent off in the second minute. For some reason, people love trying to tackle our players really hard and really dangerously, and they love getting sent off. So, Herobito Ramon Bravo gave him a penalty lead, but Robert Thomas um, managed to get us a goal from attacking midfield, which was very nice. So, yeah, fantastic run has seen us climb to second in the table. And, yeah, we've got some big games coming up. There's a really tough run here that goes Stoke, Brighton, Bournemouth, West Brom, Brentford. That's a really tough run. Um, and we've got a relatively easy run in other than the final two games of the season against Crystal Palace and QPR who are both playing very well this season so 
yeah, it's certainly looking like a very, very good season this year. So you can see we've been sticking with the 4 one 3 2, 0. The strikerless formation is working wonders, and uh, it's definitely getting the best, the best out of the players, which is superb. So looking at the squad then, um, only real changes, I would say. Kennedy Joseph has stepped up now. And is playing really, really well. 500k to 2.5 million. He's got two years. He's got another year left on his contract after this. Um, a 6.93, 18 appearances, one goal, one assist. He's he's stepping up and doing a pretty good job. Unfortunately, it has pretty much knocked Christian Agnarsson out of the starting lineup at the moment. You you were getting a lot of game time, not performing as well as Kennedy has now. He has stepped in to the breach. Uh, the other one was Robert Thomas, someone that. I'm not too sure what to do with it. His contract expires this year. He's 24. He's not as good as other players that we have. But his off the ball, his technique, his flair, termination decisions is really good. But he's let down by his finishing and his composure in that sort of more attacking midfield shadow striker position. But he is six foot five, and I do like tall players. And he is stepping up at this moment of time where we need squad depth. He is doing a good job. Uh, Louis Cromack has been putting in some good performances in goals while Scott Lloyd had an injury. Um, uh, we'll see how it is. It's 18 for Scott Lloyd at the moment, 11 for Louis Cromack. Louis Cromack got a 6.91, Scott Lloyd with a 6.88. Um, interestingly, we'll have a quick look um, at him here. If we go and have a look at Jan Petrick, the Patreon, who is out on loan at Birmingham, is having a very good season for them. 19 appearances, 12 conceded, 6.97 with 9 clean sheets as well. 6 player of the matches so he's definitely keeping them in games in league two uh, and Birmingham currently sit where do Birmingham currently sit they're not playing very well 11th at the moment uh, sort of mid table so he, he's very busy he's doing a good job of it and uh, I think he next year he'll probably come back as our first choice goalkeeper unless Louis Cromack has a big development from somewhere but I can't imagine he will to be honest but generally we're playing really well. Supreme Dave is massively amongst the goals again. 21 goals already at this point of the season. Uh, eight for Jake Mills. Jake, you are worried. You're worried that you're going to get replaced, and uh, you're not. You're in there getting a lot of games and scoring goals as well, which is good. Four for Hayworth, four for Anchepong, four for Cox, two for Earl, two for Hartas, two for Leek, two for Thomas, two for Agnarsson as well. And then assists are being really spread out between everyone. Eight for Anchepong, six for Mills. Uh, five for Supreme Dave, four for Hayworth, three for Cox, two for KMB, two for Earl, two for Leek, two for Doncor, and a few ones in there as well. So generally, a really, really, really good season so far. It is amazing. And to think that the last episode we got smashed 8-0 by Newcastle, we really have turned it around. And we really have kept morale high, and we've been praising people who are training. When you're winning, your players train better. They get better training ratings, which means you can praise them and keep the morale up, which means you've got a higher chance of keeping winning and things like that. So, yeah, it's going really, really well. It is going very, very well. And as you can see, some more patrons popping in as well. Uh, Lloyd Nyhus is in here as well. He's got a, a handful of appearances with five at the moment in the league. Uh, Supreme Dave's there. Christian Agnarsson's there. Crimson Mori uh, getting a few little game time as well. Nine nine appearances in your second season at the club is not too bad at all. So, um, yeah, it's going, it's going well. It's going very, very well. And now that I've gone through all of that, let's go and play Brentford and cock it all up. I'll see you for uh, the team sheet. Okay, so this is how we're lining up for this one. Cromack is going to keep his place and go, even though Scott Lloyd is fit. He probably doesn't deserve to be dropped, so he keeps his place. Uh, Leek at right back. Doncourt, Joseph and Leach at the back four. A uh, very good, solid back four for us at the moment. Connor and Hayworth are going to be the two sort of central midfielders. Earl on the right, Anchepong on the left. That's a midfield that sort of picks itself, especially while Graham Cox is out injured. Um, and then, in the, I was going to say, in behind the strikers. The striking pair that just play as at attack midfield. Jake Mills, good goal scorer in form. And Okonkwo is going to get a run out because he he's not playing brilliantly, but he's... He deserves a chance. He deserves a chance as a starting player. Um, names that are missing. Father Tonunctious is injured. It's still a mouthful. To, I might call, just change that to for, Father Todd, to be honest, when I mention it. Um, Loic misses out because he's going to play for the under-21s tomorrow. Uh, Supreme Dave is injured. Graham Cox is injured. Uh, and Brian Dyson is injured as well. So on the bench we have Scott Lloyd, Jeff Hogg, KMB, Crimson Maury, Kay Harding, Robert Thomas, Lyric Hartas, Christian Agnarsson, and Alpha Koff on there as well. Right, let's go and play Brentford and hopefully get through to the fourth round of the FA Cup. 
Right, so we're going to go and tell the guys uh, we've been on a good run, go out there and impress me, and then we'll give them the old fist pumping to say, go on, you can do it. And uh, we're in 2D, because that is how I play my games. It's much quicker. I get to see the whole pitch. But generally, we're not changing formation that much now. We're changing mentalities rather than formations. You can see there, um, three wins and two draws in the last five. So we are coming into this one in pretty good form. Um, the 4-4-2 has caused us a few issues here and there. Let's just... Uh, Let's change this because I know that we all prefer to watch it in 3D, don't we? When it's on a when it's on the on the show on live, that's what I'm trying to say, live on the screen. I do think we need to have a bit of 3D action as the anchor for Brentford. Free kick from range off the underside of the bar and headed away as Amchapong keeps it there. As Hadji with a long throw, it's flicked on and Harris, what a goal from Brentford! Why is it that when we're live on camera? Teams score absolutely wonderful goals against us. So Hadji with a sort of semi-long throw. Beardsworth beats our man in the air. And Harris on the left-footed volley. That's one hell of a goal. And uh, Brentford go 1-0 up. We started the game reasonably well. But now we've uh, we've dropped off a little bit of Sosa into Williams. Here is Beardsworth again. Williams goes over the top. He looked offside Brindley. And it's a good save from Cromack anyway. Linesman hasn't put his flag up. But... Uh, to look offside. It goes left towards Amchapong. Easy header though. Harris picks it up who scored the goal in this game for the difference at the moment. Brindley, I think like Donkor could have put a tackle in there but didn't. Earl, good recovery to come and pick that one up. And he's going to run down the right hand side and Gareth Earl is probably the best player at the club uh, in terms of attributes and star rating at the moment. He's put it through to Okonkwo. Okonkwo over the top into Jake Mills. The keeper's come a long way. It's going to fall to Earl. Oh my god, and I said he's the, one of the best players at the club, and he's missed an absolute sitter. He has also scored from uh, about the halfway line when the keeper was out of goal, but that was pretty shocking from a player that is one of our better players at the club. Now, we've, we're on top of the game at the moment, but Dianka is going to throw in a corner. Harris at the back post, he's hit the bar again. And uh, Brentford looking dangerous from these set pieces, which is very much a concern. We're not going to go attacking just yet. I don't think we need to up it that much. But you can see it's been pretty even in terms of XG. They'll argue, Brentford will argue they should be on top. We're yet to hit the target with a shot. And I think that's what we have to tell them. Our shooting has not been good enough. Look, and uh, you're, you're not, not, you know, we're not playing too bad. But we do need to do a little bit more at the start of this second half. So... Uh, Dubok with it throws up to Dianka and the only other thing we could potentially do rather than change our Don I mean Donkor literally ran towards him with both arms out I saw that on this rub what is still a pretty rubby ma rubbish match engine as Harris dinks it down the middle Brandon Harris what a little twat uh, dinking that down the middle is not very friendly is it Brandon if that is your real name but Brandon Harris makes it 2-0, and I'm actually not going to be too disappointed if we go out of both cups because we're, we've got a very good league position to focus on right now, um, and I would like to keep it that way of keeping us focusing on the league. And Because if we got to the Premier League, not winning a cup or not getting far in the cups really wouldn't make a difference. As Harris, as Rob Leach, Brandon, Brandon Harris is having an amazing game. Well, that's a poor pass, and Connor does well to intercept. Joseph into Leach. Down the left into Anchapong. That's a good ball into Jake Mills, who picked up a nice bit of space. He's done well. Great ball through to a Conquo, who was about to sub off. But he's fired it home, and it's going to be disallowed for offside. Unbelievable. Jake Mills held onto the ball well. He's, gee, he's just offside. It was a decent run, decent bit of movement, but we'll see what happens with this highlight. But at the moment, not uh, not ideal. We've had a, a good chance, but uh, it was offside. It's the anchor... Looks to get past his man. Swings across him. Brindley attacks it. And Cromack. Honestly, what is it with me bigging people up and then live on camera they just let me down? Like, it's horrendous, isn't it? It's absolutely... He, sh he should be saving that. He should be saving that. The, the sooner we get Jan Petrick back in goal, or back back here, the better. Right, Hartas off. Uh, or Hartas on, sorry. Alphakov on. We're going to do... Uh, Connor's actually having a pretty decent game. So we'll do Hayworth off for Crimson Mori, who's not been too bad in that attacking role. We'll do Robert Thomas on the left. And oh Kennedy Joseph. Again, I bigged him up and he's having a poor game. Jay Leach for Jeff Hogg in this one. I think it's probably gonna be a little bit too little too late. But um on the form we were on, the the praise I was giving us, bigging us up, 
this result was always likely going to happen, wasn't it? As uh, that should be an easy interception for Leak, and it is back to Cromack, out to Joseph. Joseph has a bit of time and few options. We've got we've got options there. Easy pass into Thomas. Jeff Hogg. Good ball through to Alphacoff. Fresh off the bench. That's another yellow card. Get him off. That's a red card, please, referee. Thank you, Dubok. Antoine Dubok is off. They're 3-0 up, so it really shouldn't change the game that much. But um, hopefully we get some chances. Crimson Mori with a corner. Can he find Joseph at the front post? He can. Lee with a good save. We do have Doncourt and uh, Joseph attacking that front post. Ideally, we want Doncourt running onto it rather than... Oh, yeah, a bit like that. That's a good header. It was Hartas, I think, that put it over the bar. Oh, we are getting on top now. I mean, look at the... The actual XG difference is not that much. There's no way they've been three goals better than us. Absolutely not. But um, we rolled the dice with all of our subs. We have lacked something today. Well, it's goal scoring, isn't it? It's goal scoring today. And we have a couple of games like that. We do. Earl into uh, Leak. He's got Earl running down the line. Leak cuts back. He goes to Doncor. Doncor comes forward with the ball. Holds it up all the way back to Cromack. The fans won't be too happy with that one. Joseph. Joseph into Doncourt. We do keep the ball well. That's the thing. And when we score first, we do normally win. But uh, obviously today we've not scored when they've got three. That's a good ball to Earl. Square it. He does square it. It's a really poor cross from Gareth Earl, who has let himself down today. As That's a good ball in. There's a header. It's Lyric Hartas. It's 3-1 with two minutes to go. Or oh, one minute to go in normal time. Earl's cross was poor. Shayanov cleared it away Jeff Hogg kept it alive and Jeff Hogg you've got yourself an assist in it went across the bottom flicked up into the air and Hartas reacted quickest and uh, makes it 3-1 so we get a goal and then gets an injury foot injury is that a broken do we think that's a broken foot I think that is probably a broken foot it's a little bit too little too late to do anything else and uh, that is going to be full time I think as Hunter goes into Hadji up to Brinley Good tackle from Earl. I mean, we can make it 3-2 with not too long to go. Thomas picks this one up. He's giving it back to Earl. Earl back through to Thomas. Thomas shoots. It's 3-2. It's going to be too little too late. Um, Gareth Earl finally does something really nice. That was a good little one-twos there between Earl and Thomas. They actually worked it between them very well. Thomas there back to Earl. Earl back through. Saw the run. He could have picked out any of the strikers, really, running forward. But 3-2. It's full time. We put up a fight. We ended up with a better XG. I think I don't think we deserve that result. Brandon Harris, this gentleman, he looks pretty good. He does look pretty good. Right midfielder, attack midfielder, striker. He would probably be in our first team squad. Wanted by Blackburn. Worth 12.5 million to 16 million, the Canadian. Wow. Yeah, that's the sort of player we need to start bringing through in our youth intake. But um, yeah, I mean, look at that second half. We've absolutely battered them absolutely battered them uh i'm gonna say we didn't get the result we wanted but you played well because i think we did i think we did turn it around in that second half and play reasonably well uh three two shame we couldn't do more when they got a man sent off we scored two late goals but it wasn't enough and as i said i'm not too fussed about getting knocked out of the cups because we're in such a good position in the league that i feel like we need to um that's where we need to put our focus on. So now it is purely the league which we're going to be focused on. We are second at one point behind Stoke. If we look at XG, we're sixth in XG. So we are creating very good chances. We've um, conceded the exact amount of goals we should have done, but we've scored 10 more than uh, than is expected by our XG count. So sometimes we have games like we just witnessed. It was a 3-2 loss. We had higher XG than the opponent and we didn't put them away. And sometimes we have an XG of like 0.9 and we're scoring three or four goals. So... Yeah, it's um, it's all swings and roundabouts. But at the moment, we're in a great position in the league. We're in a with a chance of winning it. Um, I would still take the playoffs from this position. I think anything above tenth is an improvement on last year. So I think that's what we've got to focus on. But we will be back in March when we'll know a bit more around how this table is looking, and we'll get to see our youth intake day. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.